Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I have for you some Dalgona. What is Dalgona you ask? It's whipped coffee, whipped, beaten. There's a lot of translations for it, but what it is is whipped coffee foam on top of a dairy milk, some type of milk product. Um, it gets its origins in Pakistan, India, Macau, and I believe it became popular when a Korean actor had it. Everybody's doing it. It's all the rage. Um, so we're going to make a keto dairy-free version because that's what I can have, but you can make it however you want. So let's do it. I'm going to turn you around, show you the ingredients, show you how to whip it up, and I will taste it. I'm super excited because it's coffee. I know, right? And the topping, you can use on anything. It doesn't have to just be in the drink. Oh, and you can make it mocha, I hear. Put a little cocoa powder in it. Less coffee, more cocoa. But let's make the original and see how we like it. Okay, I'm going to go over the ingredient list and what you'll need, and then I'm going to get the hot water. Um, you want a vessel that your whisk fits in, but you're not using a lot. It's two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of any kind of instant coffee, two tablespoons of a sweetener. My sweetener is monk fruit. This is something I can have. It's keto. You can use regular sugar. It doesn't matter. Two tablespoons. So it's a pretty easy recipe to remember. Two tablespoons of a sugar, two tablespoons of instant coffee. You can use espresso. You can use, right, this is just regular Dollar Tree instant coffee. You'll need some type of a whisking, beating thing. You can hand do this or not, because I wouldn't. And then we're gonna have our cold ingredients. Now I'm making it with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then to thicken it up a little bit, I have some French vanilla creamer. Um, that these are both, this has two carbs, zero sugar. This has zero carbs, zero sugar. These are soy free. You can use milk, just regular milk if that's what you do. I can't do regular milk, but you can. Um, so that's it, that's the ingredients for your basic. You can make it hot and heat up your milks and pour, put this foam over warm or cold. But we're gonna do it this way. I need to go get some hot water. We need two tablespoons of boiling, pretty hot tap. I guess it could be tap water, but if you want your sugar to dissolve, you're gonna need um, pretty hot water. So I just boiled my kettle. So let me go get it. All right, I'm back. This is two tablespoons of boiling water from my tea kettle. And then we're just gonna whip it. Not like that though. Hmm. Please hold. All right, I'm back. We're gonna whip it in this glass <laughs> measuring thing on high until it whips up. So I will show you intermittently. Look how creamy and light that is getting. This is not done yet. Okay. We got it all whipped up. I'm gonna get this little rubber thing out. <gasps> look at how light and airy, ooh, light and airy that is. Does that not look wonderful? So there is a reason I, I'm taking two different milk products. I wanted it a little thicker. So that's what we're gonna come into this nut pod creamer. I've used this before, it's really good. So I'm just gonna put a little of that in for its thickening. And then, like I said, just some almond milk. Unsweetened if you're keto. If you're not, you do whatever makes you happy. So right now, I mean, that's not a whole lot of either. But I do have it on ice because that's how I'm going to drink it tonight. Just going to mix that up. And then we're going to top it off with this cream and you just, you could pipe it if you wanted to be fancy. This would be good on any, oh, like on chocolate brownies, guys, please. How delicious would that be? If you need a mocha, you could put some shaved chocolate on top. Oh, think of the possibilities. So this worked out well since the other container did not. I need to get a better mixer 
This one I'm using, I use it a lot, is dying on me. Okay, there's that. Stick a straw in it. And that is our version of Dagana. I wanna take a picture and then we'll take a taste. All right, guys. I'm back with some Dalgana. Look at that, creamy white with that. And now I would like to mix mine in a little bit so you get some flavor. You can use your straw, you can use a spoon. Mmm. Oh, that is amazing. It almost tastes like burnt caramel. Not in a bad way, burnt caramel, but like in a good way. Oh my goodness. Tastes like a milkshake. The vanilla with the coffee is amazing. I do enjoy it mixed in because I love that coffee flavor. Oh goodness, guys, this is good. I can see me being a little addicted to this. Good thing it's keto friendly. My version anyway, with the almond milk and the nut milk and then the coffee on top. Throw a little Baileys in that. Mmm. So good. You gotta try this. Dollar Tree coffee, guys. Dollar Tree. Sweetener and hot water. It makes your foam. That's it. So good. Try it. Let me know in the comments below if you if you tried it. It is so good. Have a good Friday. I don't need to sleep tonight. Have a good Friday.